counseling, we all know the feeling. You just started dating someone and then realize that you don't actually like them very much. You want out and you want out as soon as humanly possible. But before you hit the panic button and do something reckless, here's a guide to letting them down easily without causing too much heartbreak or drama. How to break up with someone you've been dating for a short time. 10 crucial tips to avoid a disaster. There is no one perfect way to break up with anybody. This includes someone you've been dating for a short time. That said, there are various options I have listed in this video that will work best for backing out of dating someone you just started with. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss out on our content. Let's dive in. Uh, number one, break the news as soon as possible. If you know you want to break up with someone you're dating, tell them as soon as possible. An awful mistake that many people make is that they know they want to break up or stop seeing someone, but they dread the confrontation and try to delay having the talk. This leads to even worse hurt feelings and sending mixed messages. If you want to break up and you're sure about it, do it. Sophia Myrocostas writes for Insider, uh, when you decide that you no longer want to continue seeing or sleeping with someone, you owe it to them to break the news as soon as you can. Uh, number two, be honest, but not brutal. If you're breaking up because you're focused on other priorities, tell them if it's because you've met somebody else, be honest about it. If you basically don't feel much of a connection or feel something is off in the budding relationship, you can open up about that too. Just try not to make it confrontational. In such cases, it can be good to use a bit of euphemism, such as saying that you're on a bit of a different path or feeling your priorities are in another place right now. Number three, get advice from a pro. Breaking up is never easy or as simple as it should be, especially if one person still has feelings for the other. There's a piece of advice that I have for how to break up with someone you've been dating for a short time. Talk to an expert. The, uh, the best resource I found is called Relationship Hero and is a site with professionally accredited relationship coaches. How do I know? I contacted Relationship Hero about four months ago while breaking up with someone I'd only been dating for a month. And they helped me figure out how to pull the plug without a lot of drama or tears. It was still hard, but the coach I spoke to was extremely insightful and helpful. Because I was impressed by how rapidly my coach understood my situation and had useful and effective advice about what to do. Number four, focus on I. Instead of saying why you don't want to date this person anymore in terms of their qualities or identity, focus on your experience. Use I statements if at all possible. These can focus on what you feel or don't feel where you're headed in your life, your own struggles, or even just your own confusion and need for space right now. Right, right. Stay friends. The idea of staying friends or trying to transition your dating into a friendship can be tempting. Almost always, it's the wrong way out unless both of you are feeling a friendship vibe. If not, you need to be aware that the idea of offering to remain friends can be one, quite condescending, even unintentionally, and two, often perceived as fake. If you really mean it, and want to offer friendship, go ahead, but don't use it to soften the blow. The person you're breaking up with is going to want the truth, not a fig leaf of friendship. <laughs> Number six, let your social media interactions fade out. If you've broken up, consider digital as well. Stop parting photos or playing the admiring guy or girl to this person. I'm not saying you need to cut off all contact. That's usually not necessary, uh, but don't break up with someone you've been dating for a short time and then let love bomb them all over Instagram or comment on everything they post for the following month. It sends mixed signals and it can also be a hurtful reminder to them of the disappointment they felt the breakup. Number seven, choose a time and place that's appropriate. Breaking up isn't like arranging an appointment at the dentist, but there is a time and a place for it. Try to do it at your home if possible or at theirs. Avoid public places and making a scene. Try to make it in a fairly neutral situation rather than after a nice romantic dinner out or when you've just returned from a couple of weekends or something. Um, uh, make it in a sort of lull when you're both being quite open and honest. This is now your chance to get into a talk about the relationship itself and your time together and drop the news that you're unfortunately going to have to move on. That's number eight, be clear about what you want. Uh, be clear about what you want. If it's breaking up, then say it. If you don't really know what you want for sure, ask their perspective as well. It's important to have clarity here about your intentions and boundaries without being overly critical. You can honestly lay out your decision. However, if you're sure about the breakup and know how you're feeling, you're not feeling about dating this person, be clear about it. Far too many people use vague and unclear language to try to soften the blow. Ironically, the result is generally the opposite and 
that the one who's been left doesn't really get exactly what happened and may even believe it is some kind of test, not final or just a bump in the road. Number nine, be polite, but don't be too nice. When breaking up with someone you've been dating for a short time, you should certainly be respectful, but don't be too nice. The truth is that being kind and empathetic is great, but being stereotypically nice, especially as a guy is a downward spiral. Uh, being too nice in life uh, is a way of sabotaging yourself and is ultimately a passive aggressive behavior pattern towards others. You can break up kindly and with respect without being overly apologetic or trying to make sure it's fine with the other person. Honestly, no, it's probably not fine. Breakups hurt. This one may even hit you harder than you expect at the time of breaking up, but try to just be an adult about it. You're breaking up. It sucks, but it's happening. Uh, number 10. Stick to the breakup. The practice of benching is becoming more and more common in the dating world. It's when somebody never really dates someone, but also never fully breaks up. They keep a number of partners on a kind of roster and call them on and off the bench to play, then send them back off. It's denigrating, disrespectful, and empty behavior. Uh, if you break up with this person, stick to it. Unless you realize you made a huge mistake and are truly sure you want to get back together or ask for another chance, break up, and then move forward. Reason breaking up and then getting back together or hooking up every month or two is just going to hurt them and you even more and make the situation much more confusing than it has to be. What not to do? Three big mistakes to avoid. Um, number one, don't insult them. Getting confrontational is almost never a good idea. Doing so in a breakup can cause way more damage than just respectfully speaking your piece and saying bye. Don't insult them or focus on the negatives. It will just spiral down from there. That's number two. Uh, don't ghost them. Ghosting is for cowards. Don't do it. If they keep hounding you after the breakup, you can do it then. But never try to break up with someone by simply cutting off all contact with no explanation. It's weak and gross. Uh, number three. Don't text dump them. If at all possible, try not to dump over text or messages. For one, it's disrespectful. Secondly, the chance for major miscommunication is very large. Saying goodbye on good terms. Every breakup hurts, even if it's only the end of a short relationship. It's important to be respectful and think of how you would feel in the other person's position. Even though it's often best to break things off before they get more serious and people get even more hurt, it's never easy. Follow the advice above and the process will at least be as manageable as possible. That's all for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. If you want relationship advice, but be sure to check out our other videos by clicking right here. Don't forget to subscribe for more great content and we'll see you in the next one.